In this lecture let's turn your attention to crypto trading research. There is an abundance of independent and non-independent information available on the top 10 cryptocurrencies. There is one big caveat however before we can move on. Unlike the highly regulated stock market, there is a huge amount of ramping going on in the crypto market. You will see articles expounding the virtues of BTC and how it is expected to reach $100,000, we have even seen predictions of over $1 million. By reading a mixture of views you should be able to form your own informed opinion. But form your own view you must there are too many vested interests to be guided by a biased post or expert. Where do you find information on the top 10 cryptocurrencies? Well, there are no independent brokerages providing unbiased research. Not yet anyway. This could all change tomorrow. However, the message is in order to invest in the crypto market you have to get your hands dirty. You have to do your own leg work, that means your own research. That is the only way I am afraid. If leg work is not your thing then this market probably isn't for you. But let's assume, you don't mind going that extra mile to identify a solid investment opportunity. There are a few useful resources which I have outlined below which will help you achieve that goal. Social media platforms are a very valuable source of information. Twitter and Reddit are the main ones, there is another called Discord. Remember though these generally contain biased views from people with a vested interest. But you can get a feel for what is going on and there are some well-respected people worth following. Again remember they also have their own vested interests too, so use them only to get a feel for the market rather than invest in their recommendations. The Crypto Rating Council is also a useful resource. This is a great way to start your research on any coin. Their real purpose is to provide an opinion on whether certain coins represent a security or not. In order to do this, they rate them. BTC, for instance, is rated a 1, as in it is not considered a security whilst XRP scores a 4, which is an indication that it is likely to be classified as a security. There are currently only 28 ratings published. That is a help for sure. You don't want to be investing in anything that is rated below a 2. But these ratings still don't tell you much about the projects or currencies prospects and whether the coin represents a good buying opportunity or are a raging sell. There are also a number of research websites available. Many of these charge a monthly subscription for research on Bitcoin and a few altcoins as well as general crypto market news. I would avoid these. You can gather the same information from a few of the other resources which I will provide you information on. Cryptocurrency news sites are also a valuable source of information. There are a few worth subscribing to which send daily free newsletters, including Cointelegraph, The Block, Masari, and Coinsnacks. Binance is one of the leading cryptocurrency exchanges. It provides a research resource on its website which covers a large number of projects including deep dives on certain currencies. It, however, provides research on its own coin, BNB, and other vested interests, which kind of breaks all the rules of credibility. But it is a good place to look for general market analysis and background information on the majority of coins which you will have an interest in. This isn't a recommendation to use Binance as your exchange of choice by the way. You will have to do your own research in this regard, suffice to say there are pros and cons. Coin market cap is an excellent resource which we touched on earlier. This provides the market price for most cryptocurrencies including information on the volume and a summary on the project. The rule of thumb is, if the coin you are researching is not on this list do not invest. That policy would have avoided taking losses in a few of the big cryptocurrency frauds such as OneCoin. Medium is another great resource for information on the crypto market. There is a subscription to pay to access the plethora of articles but it is a small investment if you are serious about this market. A few other resources worth considering. Check out blockdata.tech although a subscription site it provides some valuable information on over 800 coins. Also, sign up to cryptoresearch.report for general information on the crypto market. Finally, a valuable tool is the Crypto Fear and Greed Index located at alternative.me. Basically the higher the greed factor the more risky the market. The above resources should provide you with ample information to make that informed investment decision.